Hey everyone, welcome back and in this episode we're going to carry on trying to select this profile and display it on this page here. Alright, so ideally here's our list of uh, profiles, we would like to click on one, go to this profile page and uh, plop whatever profile we have here to this profile here. Uh, we have one big uh, but here, there is no way to pass a parameter, we uh, pass the object, uh, the profile object to this component. Now we could do something uh, smart with the router, but that is a, a completely unintuitive way and a bad solution. Another thing we could do is, once we reach this page, we can uh, uh, use the event bus to request uh, a profile from the apps page and then again listen for another event and grab it here which is again a totally uh, bastardized way of uh, doing view which is we're, we're not going to do that we're just going to utilize the api to get the profile okay so first of all let's go ahead and change this to a link and I will delete these profiles here. I'm going to change this to a link as well. Okay. And let's actually make this a router link. And let's say find two slash. Uh, wait, hold up. I'll do backtick, backtick, slash p dot first name. There we go. Uh, let's see what happens. Okay, so it recognizes the name. Kinda, it doesn't change though. Okay, that's all right. Uh, let's delete this thing. Actually, not the whole thing, but rather. Uh, let's delete this paragraph tag and I will remove these and I'll put a BR here like so. Cool. Next thing I will remove the name, I will keep the profile and I will make it an object. I will take this profile and I'll replace all these P's with profile. Okay, next thing I want to uh, get the name from the route and uh, not profiles but rather right to a profile. Okay, cool. So, okay, so the problem we're facing here is when the page is created, uh, it will ex execute this function, right? And uh, what we really want is we want to watch this parameter change. Okay, so if we try to use the route guards uh, before enter or before update, that's not going to work either. So let's go ahead and create a watcher for route, and we really want to grab this part here route params. Okay. And we want to say immediate, true, and handler. Uh, handler, I'm going to define it like so. Okay. Uh, name. Let's create a method. All right, because really I think this should be calling a method. So load profile. And let's grab all of this stuff and move it into this profile. Okay, I will delete this created thing. Uh, we remove the name, so there is no need for this name here. Uh, leave it like so. Let's refresh this. What is it whining about? Okay, so at the top here, we're still using a name. Let's grab this thing and actually replace the name with this 
and I will remove this breakpoint here. Let's refresh. Okay, and also remove this uh, thing right here. Okay, that's cool. Now let's go ahead and call load profile. And let's actually pass the name here because we don't want to be getting it from here. Uh, let's pass the name here as well. So, okay, so let's actually convert this to a normal function. Like so. Cool. So now if we are switching users, we are getting the media user that we would like. Cool. All right. Nice. So as you can see from uh, this situation that we have here, uh, we have the list of profiles here that we're loading from the start and that we're populating here. But once we go to the profile here, it's not ideal that we're loading the profile and we're having to make a call every single time uh, when we want to switch the profiles. All right, we can uh, get the profiles from this profile really ideally from our global state. Okay. So hopefully by now you can see a problem with a holding state inside your components. And we are going to look at UX and how UX solves helps is going to help us solve this problem, right? This will be it for this episode. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed these. Uh, leave a like, subscribe, and as always, see you in the next episode.